two-thirds in the United Kingdom and two-thirds everywhere else, if I'm not mistaken, today. We are still in the Southern Hemisphere, in case you're wondering about the orientation. <laughs> Sorry about my audio, everybody. It will be um, the same orientation here as it is back at Juma. Now, we've stopped here next to our male lion because he has lifted his head up. This is the other brother. Now, I don't know for certain, you know, what their names are yet. We're just getting to grips with that. But if you look at this chap, there we are. There is a lion called Scar in this coalition, apparently. That could be him. If that's not the same as Scarface, who that is inescapably not. He does have quite a few scars on his face. And just to reiterate everyone, these lions not moving around for exactly the same reason as the Inkuhumas aren't. They've just eaten too much. They're just like you are after a heavy Sunday lunch. <laughs> Good night. Hello, Robin D. Very good question from you about how a coalition knows where its boundaries are when they take over an area. Robin, I think it's largely from the smell of other lions. Um, just up ahead, John. Oh, you got him. Um, and what they do is they smell other lions, and that becomes the boundary. So if you take over territory, this guy looks a bit stiff. He's just having a stretch. Take over territory and they will be bounded by other lions. It's very seldom that, you know, an area is completely devoid of lions. And that's how the territory will stay. But, of course, that can shift. So if that coalition that is on, say, the southern boundary of a lion's territory passes on, then they will probably expand because they cannot smell those old lions around the place. So I think it's largely based on how you know, the other lions that they smell in the area and how confident they feel about challenging those other lions. I think it probably also has to do with the female territories because very seldom, in, fa in fact I can't think of an instance where a male's territory will encompass a female's and then half of another one or half of an adjacent female pride's territory. In fact, that's probably more likely to be the almost the answer in its entirety. So we know the Birmingham boys dominate two prides, the Sticks and the Inkahumas, and their territory quite neatly fits over the two of them. Now, it's probably slightly bigger, but I don't think they have half another pride's territory. Shall we have a look at the thermal? John Dreeth is quite a nice thermal image, if you like. I didn't mean to sort of tell you what to do. Sandy, sorry, my Skype call broke up as your question came through. I think it was, are these boys the same size as the Birmingham boys? Was that correct? Oh, you say they seem to have much thicker front legs than the Birmingham's. Um, Sandy, no, I don't think they have thicker front legs. I think what you're noticing is that they are fuller built. They're really kind of right at the, uh, almost the sort of optimum weight that they'll get to, somewhere between seven and eight years old. And I think these guys, the very blonde one looked to be about six to me, but maybe a bit older. Some of them probably about seven. So they're almost at their full weight, which means that they will be stockier than the Birmingham's. Um, I don't think they're any taller. They may be slightly taller, but not much. Uh, their manes will be definitely fuller, and they will just will be heavier than the Birmingham's are at the moment. But the Birmingham's, I don't think they're very big lions. In fact, I think they're on the smallish side. But they'll get to about the size when they're seven or eight years old. Righty, let's carry on along the road. We might be lucky to find a few more creatures of the Kenyan night. Well, hang on a second, let's just wait and see if he doesn't call. See if he's got a very beautiful voice like his brother's. 
I've never met a lion with a poor voice, you know, Jean-André. All right, let's leave him to luxuriate in the tickling of the red oat grass. On we go. Jen Ward, you want to know if I've got my blankie? I do not have my blankie.